Let's move on to the next insert1 method. This method will accept just one object as an argument and will insert one document. As a result of the operation, you will get an object. If everything went fine and document was inserted, you will get acknowledged true and inserted ID that is an underscore ID of newly added document. Let's practice with this method and switch to MongoDB shell. I will perform insertion using MongoDB native shell. Ensure that you are in MyDB and that it has collections inside. I will insert a document into the first collection. So just type db.first, insert one, and one argument, just an empty object, and press enter. And you will see result of this insertion. Acknowledge true, inserted ID is an underscore ID of newly added document. Again, MongoDB has generated this object ID for you. So the difference between insert and insert1 is here. Using insert1, you immediately get underscore ID of newly added object. If you work with MongoDB server using external driver, information about ID of newly created document may help you to perform further operations with same document. Let's perform find operation on the first collection. So just db.first, find and empty parentheses enter. And here it is, same information we get here. Let's perform insertion in Robo3T. Just switch to Robo3T, double click on first collection. It will immediately perform a find operation and you will get same document that was just created in MongoDB shell. And let me add one more document. Insert one and again, curly braces represent just empty object and command return to perform operation. And you see result acknowledge true inserted ID is an underscore ID of newly added document. Let's perform find operation, just find command enter. And here you get two documents. And here is a document that was just added using embedded shell in Robo3T. In the next section, let's look at insert many method and how it differs from insert one. See you.